One of Hong Kong's last independent news outlets says it's folding after being raided earlier today. Hong Kong police searched the offices of Stan News, arresting seven and removing assets and evidence. It's the latest blow to the Chinese territory's shrinking free press. It's becoming a familiar sight on the streets of Hong Kong. After several staff members from the pro-democracy media outlet Stand News were arrested. Over 200 police were seen entering the website's headquarters, saying in a statement they were authorised to search and seize relevant journalistic materials. Both the current and former editors of the publication were among those detained as well as the pop star turned democracy activist Denise Ho, an ex-board member at Stand News. Deputy Assignment Director Ronson Chan was questioned, but not arrested. He released this footage of police turning up at his home. The authorities can be heard demanding he stop filming. Speaking earlier this year, his prophetic words have now been realised in what many see as a further erosion of the free press in Hong Kong. I think that the situation and the message is clear to, from the government that making reports and doing and covering new story will have some criminal uh, result. You may be charged, you may be limited your freedom, whatever. So it's not easy to say that I'm not afraid of the situation. The raid on Stand News is the latest move in a spate of crackdowns under Beijing's opaque national security law. In June, Hong Kong's largest pro-democracy paper, the Apple Daily, was also raided and forced to close. Its founder, Jimmy Lai, was recently sentenced to 13 months in jail. With Stand News gone and more journalists detained, it seems press freedom in Hong Kong may finally be over. For more on this, uh, let's bring in uh, Phoebe Kong in Hong Kong. Uh, Phoebe, does the closure of Stan News come as a surprise at this point? Well, um, just hours after the arrest on the management and also um, the uh, editor-in-chief of Star News, um, Star News mu news media, the non-profit making news organization, has announced that it will shut down uh, immediately and also to dismiss all its employees uh, immediately. Um, so that happened just uh, hours after a police arrest. And um, uh, in its uh, farewell statement issued on its social media platforms, it said it will also remove its website and its social media uh, platforms and accounts from online. So we're expecting that the news materials and the reports that we've seen um, before, that um, they will soon be gone Like um, by the time that they remove all the websites of uh, Star News. And also in the statement, they said that um, they uh, expressed gratitude to its uh, readers, that um, the seven-year-old non-profit making news organization said it, it separated Hong Kong uh, under the independent editorial principle and strives to safeguard Hong Kong's core values, including democracy, freedom, uh, human rights, uh, rule of law and justice. And it is time to say goodbye to its readers. So Phoebe, did anyone see this coming? Uh, well, um, this is uh, quite, uh, uh, indeed, it's a huge blow to the journalistic industry because uh, Star News is a leading uh, pro-democracy uh, media so far. Like following the closure of Apple Daily, Star News uh, is indeed one of the biggest uh, media platforms that uh, like um, is very popular among the pro-democracy supporters and he's uh, like owning a huge reader base. Um, but uh, on the other hand, with his uh, uh, 61 million Hong Kong dollars assets frozen by the National Police uh, Department, uh, National Security Department of the Police Force, mm. that uh, it is kind of expected among uh, observers and journalists that this is um, th this is the development, uh, development that we are expecting, um, that um, they will no longer be able to operate without the funds that they can make use of.
In today's uh, press conference, uh, police declared their actions, and that is their arrests of journalists and the seizure of, uh, of items from their offices, were based on evidence. What more can you tell us? Uh, well, the evidence that the police uh, mentioned are basically uh, some reports uh, written by uh, reporters and also uh, commentaries uh, contributed by bloggers and commentators. So um, those, uh, although the police, they, they didn't list out all of the articles uh, involved in this case, but they um, did um, give some examples involving uh, some uh, reports and commentaries relating to the 2019 anti-government protest that they think is uh, seditious um, uh, publications, that it will incite hatred against the government and or the judiciary uh, system or the police force um, that could, um, like, um, conspire to uh, like, uh, publish uh, so-called seditious publications. So uh, maybe we have to wait for more details when the case is brought to court, um, like uh, exactly what kind of evidence and what kind of articles mm. uh, the uh, police are accusing the defendants. But basically the authorities are saying that um, these, kind of, these uh, media workers are making use of their uh, uh, media positions and their duties to um, pursue political purposes and endanger national security and they will continue to investigate the case that right. um, they are not ruling out that maybe there are more people uh, from the industry and the news organization will be arrested in the future. That's uh, Phoebe Kong in Hong Kong. Again, many thanks, Phoebe.